Stay off 213. If I go at 22, hey Dave, come over here. I'm going to have you get off the sticks here and, and come over this way. And you can see down the road here, you know, how many cars. I counted 21. And wow. there's some cars. I'm not going out and venturing out into this roadway right now to check it out. But That truck should way. just start helping people um, I, you can see pulling them up the rest of the way. The but He's actually gone off into the grass because it's not as slick obviously up on the grass to try to get out he's probably in a hurry on his way to work it's just ice so what's that doing there get up and out of here see if he can get out of course he can he knows how to drive what about the backup that this is causing man i'm telling you guys if you don't know how to drive in this stuff don't go out you're just going to cause an accident for somebody else or yourself if you don't have the tires, if you don't have the right vehicle, stay off the roads that are like this. Please, and thank you. You can say you know how to drive all you want, but there's a big, huge difference. The people that say they know how to drive and the people that actually know how to drive. If you just are one of those people that say, yeah, I know how to drive or, yeah, I got a four-wheel drive truck, no problem. It's a, There's a big difference, you guys. You need to just stay off the icy roads if you don't know how to drive in it, please. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, we do. We're just fixated on this. Some of those cars are, you can see, they're going in reverse. And are they mostly sedans? Is that what I'm looking at in a minivan or some other type of vehicle there? Yeah, I don't see a lot of them. As I walk down here, I'm going to actually try to venture across this. It's tough for us because... Good morning, Aunt Connie. I hope you have a positive day. Please be safe out there with all these people that think they know how to drive. And you know, I'm not talking crap. I'm literally saying if you're not prepared for all this, please stay off the roads. That's all I'm saying. A lot of people, you know, they don't. They don't ever have to drive in the snow, so, but they still do have to get to work. Well, you know, in this case, maybe you wait a little bit, or maybe you work from home, or maybe you ask a family friend that has the vehicle, that has the experience of driving in this type of weather, to drive you to work. Just saying, guys, a lot of people just don't know how to drive on this stuff. Good job. Good job, Aunt Coney. Anyways, guys, I'm telling you, stay off of 213. Uh, if you do have time, however, and you do have the vehicle, let's... I got a late start to work and I'm not really doing nothing. If you want to help some people out, let's just go pull up and help them all out. There's only so much you can do. I personally know how to drive in this conditions and I'm not just one of those people that say they do. I literally know how to drive in these conditions. However, I do not have a driver's license. <laughs> So, I hate driving in my car. Oh, yeah, no. Your car, a lot of people just should be calling in sick, honestly. But some people don't have that option. I understand, I get it. But chains, very important. One, 
Two, very important, right vehicle. Three, literally, you need to know how to drive in this stuff. There's only so much you can do when it's all icy. You got to know how to do it. If uh, Here's a little trick I learned from somebody very, very knowledgeable. When you are, uh, yeah, when you have no friction, you're not doing nothing. You're not able to do anything on ice. It doesn't matter if you have a four-wheel drive, four drive truck or not. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to drive in it. Traction is everything. If you're going down a hill and you start to, you're starting to lose your traction at all costs and there's nothing you can do, don't try to slam on your brakes. It's just going to make it worse, for one. Don't pump on your brakes. It's just going to make it worse, for two. Uh, slam it in reverse. I know it's hard on your tranny and all that, but slam it in reverse. And it will wind you down. It will slow you down. It will not make you stop. However, it will help you from flying down an icy hill. Just saying. Woo! You guys be safe. Be kind. And if you do have the time and you do have the vehicle and you do have the knowledge of driving on this stuff, help people out.